Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come speak on the latest high-end fashion designer, Burberry. Um, pretty sure y'all seen it. Now they got nooses and shit on the runway. This right here is clear blatant disrespect, man. It ain't no type of excuses. Ain't no type of mishaps. It ain't no, no way in hell that y'all can sit up here and watch what happened and all the controversy with Gucci and Prada and all these other high-end designers at Montclair, which the Montclair shit had been happening already, but Prada had been happening, but the newest one with Gucci, all the backlash, all the disruption, y'all gonna tell me y'all just put a noose on somebody neck and mistakenly thought that this wouldn't be offensive to, you know, African Americans or even to suicide victims or anything like that, man. Like, it's clear and evident now they wanted to get their name thrown in the mix and get talked about. And look, that shit is working 100%. They seen and, and looked, hey, man, Gucci, hey, they still holding up. Niggas ain't, niggas is, black people is in uproar. They, uh, the shit is all over YouTube. They looking at shit like this, man. Some of them, the representatives at Burberry might be looking at this video right here. You never know. You never know who watching, man. You never know who looking. You gotta understand, they got people on the streets, on the pavement, man, looking to see what's getting talked about, to see, hey, man, okay, what's going on? Oh, Gucci did that, and these people, you know, they ain't mad, they ain't bored, and they getting talked about, and they still holding up. They got people walking in these stores still and buying shit. So they're like, man, let's get our name thrown in the mix too, man. Let's throw out this motherfucking noose. And everybody know, man, that new shit is way out of line. You can't tell me. I don't give a damn. Y'all got old white people, old Italians, old Hispanic. You cannot tell me in 2019, you and your creative team and creative directors and people who approve your shit actually saw a noose on somebody's neck walking down the runway and say, you know what? This is fashion. This is going to be dope. This is going to sell. People are going to want to buy this outfit because it has a fucking noose tied around the neck, a rope. Like, y'all didn't think that shit was cool. Y'all know exactly what the fuck y'all was doing. And it's working. Like I say, man, I'm talking about it right now. You understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about the situation. But at the same time, bro, I really feel like, hey, man, y'all ain't got to stop wearing Burberry if you don't want to. Now, I would be offended and fucked up if I was the nigga that had this big closet where I done spent hundreds of thousands of millions on Burberry. You got a right to feel some way. But... Nigga like me, bro, I don't want to waste my energy on trying to outlaw and ban and disrupt motherfucking foreign situations, bro. Them clothes ain't a necessity. For niggas who want to wear them high-end designers and who do wear the high-end designers, shout out to them niggas, man, because niggas wear what they want to wear. If you like to get fresh with high-end designer, keep doing that shit. I ain't mad at you, man. The shit look clean. If you fuck with it, get that shit, bro. I like to see niggas ball and get fresh and, and, and do that motherfucking thing. Put they drip together. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, bro, a lot of people gonna try to say this boycott shit. This ain't what we need to be boycotting. You have an option with these clothes. You understand what I'm saying? These clothes is not really affecting the, the social injustices and, and the problems that go on in America, bro. Clothes is clothes. We need to work on these motherfucking police killing these kids. We need to work on this motherfucking, um, these jobs, you know what I'm saying, equality in these workplaces. We need to make sure uh, pr the, the goddamn wall don't get built because of the simple fact, nigga, if that wall get built, that show motherfuckers that a hey, power can be, can be restored and we can do some shit that's really not fair and get away with it. We can manipulate the system. And it's, start, it's starting with the Hispanics, where they're like, hey, we're going to build this wall. We separate people from their families, all this shit like that there. But if you let them get away with that, then now they're going to think, okay, we can push it a step further. Let's try this shit with this race or this country or these people. And then, nigga, they trickle this way up to, okay, let's try to fuck over black people like we already been doing. So 
man, let's keep let's keep our focus on on that type of shit. Fuck the clothes because that shit ain't necessity, man. Urban Politicians TV, y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Got a whole lot more shit coming, more interviews coming. Go tap into the motherfuckers. Uh, all the information, tap in with me on IG, Urban Politicians underscore Big Ant, and also Urban Politicians TV, man, 1000.